This morning's scripture reading is taken from Jeremiah 17, verses 14. It says, Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For you are my praise. Amen. You may be seated. In 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, reads, If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin, and will hear their land. It is an amazing truth to know, and a comforting truth to know, that God hears our prayers, hears our petitions, He cares for us, and even though He knows everything, he longs for that relationship where his children will feel comfortable to come before him and lay down all their burdens before him. And so this is our moment where we can do that as a church family together. This is our prayer garden. And so if there's anybody here that would have any special prayer requests, are needing a special prayer, are needing an extra portion of God's blessing, we invite you forward as we pray together just now. Our Heavenly Father, our Jehovah Jireh, our God who hears and loves and is faithful to his covenant and his promises to us. We come before you and before we bring our petitions to you, we acknowledge the fact that we are all sinners, that we have all have fallen short of your glory. And Father God, we confess our sins before you and ask for an extra outpouring of your grace upon us. We lay all of our sins, all of our burdens at your cross. And we thank you, Father God, for being faithful to us. Lord, Heavenly Father, we ask for your continued faithfulness and your promises that you've made to us, that you will be with us when we are going through trials, when we're going through hardships. Father God, we think of those that are experiencing physical ailments at this time, experiencing cancer, experiencing disease, experiencing recovery from surgery, and, and, and so much more. Father God, you know the names and the hearts of each and every individual that is experiencing some kind of physical struggle at this time. And we leave those people in your hands. We trust that your will will be done in their life. But Father God, we ask that your presence will be with them in such a way that they will be overcome with joy and comfort because they know that you were by their side going through them, going through this with them. Heavenly Father, we pray, Lord, for those of us that are experiencing spiritual ailments at this time. Father God, perhaps we're feeling discouraged, perhaps we're feeling angry or upset or whatever may happen. Father God, we leave all of our burdens at your feet. And we trust, Lord, that you are faithful. Heavenly Father, as we are about to worship you this morning, as we have already begun, we ask for your continued presence in our lives. We ask, Father God, that this service may be glorifying to your name. And Father God, regardless of whatever we may have experienced through the week, whether good or bad or everything in between, Father God, we lay them all aside because you are worthy of worship. And we glorify your name at this time. Heavenly Father, be with all of the sinful people that are about to lead us in worship. May none of us be seen but only you. Heavenly Father, please be with Pastor Ash as she speaks this morning. May we hear a word from heaven. And Father God, we love you. And we pray that you may help us to continue to be faithful. Because Father God, you are faithful to us. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.
I want to invite the deacons come forward, please. I didn't see any deacons there. So it's time for uh, tithes and offering, and the offering today is for Voice of Prophecy Canada. <clears throat> so we have this project, and then they need our support. And I want to encourage uh, each and everyone just to be faithful to return whatever we're supposed to, which is not ours, and just to make a offer for this project. So let's pray. Tată din ceruri, înaintea ta venim, mulțumitor și recunoscător că ești tu ești tatăl nostru, creatorul nostru și răscumpărătorul nostru. Îți mulțumim, Tată, pentru viața noastră, sănătate, pentru binecuvântările care tu nu încetezi să le revești asupra noastră. Te rog acum, ca tu să te atingi de inimile noastre, de cugetele noastre și ajută că noi să fim credincioși ție și să întoarcem ceea ce ți aparține. Te rog ca tu să folosești aceste daruri în acest proiect ca eu să funcționeze. Te rog ca tu să binecuvântezi fiecare mână și banii acestea ca ei să poată, să poată face lucrarea ta. Te rog ca tu să ne dai înțelepciune credință și încredere în brațul tău puternic. Fac să vă în toate, prin Iisus te-am rugat și îți mulțumim. Amin.
Thank you very much. So now we're going to have a little lamb's offering and then a children's talk.